And you might be wondering, Drew, why the heck do you have one of these? And why do you have it filled with 12 terabyte Iron Wolf drives? Yes, there's three. And actually, to be honest with you all, I, the reason I'm making this video is I'm recently adding another. <laughs> I had to add another one to make up for some space. We have another Iron Wolf going in as well. These hard drives cost anywhere from three to four hundred dollars a piece. Sometimes you can get them on sale. This is the Drobo 5D3 5 bay USB type C storage in RAID configuration has a fan. You have power, power button power input you have a lock if you want to lock this up especially you're gonna have a lot of important information on this you got two Thunderbolt um, inputs and outputs and then one uh, USB type C the um, I believe it's the USB type C does provide power if you were to plug it into your laptop you actually can charge your laptop at the same time so while making this video I ran into a few issues this particular device did not detect this hard drive but neither did my laptop either when I direct when I plugged it in directly with a USB adapter so I went ahead and returned this returned this hard drive so for the remainder of the video we will just be seeing it with the three 12 terabyte drives here so these do take about two minutes to boot up with the configuration I have here I went ahead and sped this up so you could see how long it normally takes from a cold boot to starting. Now remember, you can just leave this on all the time. These hard drives and this device is meant to be left on all the time. Anyways, here's the dashboard. And as you can see, I have 21 total, ter out of the 36 terabytes that are in there, I actually have access to about 22. You lose a little bit because even here it's saying 36 terabytes, you only get 32.7. And then the RAID configuration, the user protection is about 11 terabytes. I'm not sure if it can play with that at all. These are all default settings. So as far as capacity, like I said, you have about 70%. And if you look at this, I still have about 7.4 terabytes left of space. Status, it gives you a quick status of the bays, but again, you have the lights hit here and it's basically just mimicking this honestly this software kind of sucks because it doesn't do much more than you can do with just the physical unit but I guess if you're in a different room or you have this device in like a closet somewhere um, it might help volume max capacity 64 terabytes you could do a backup enable backup by clicking this button the wizard will guide through the steps required to enable the backup volume tools what do you have you can rename it, turn blink lights on, okay, you can, <laughs> okay, I mean, if you want RGB, <laughs> that's kind of a funny, okay, turn them off, okay, you can shut it down, you can restart it, you can check for updates, you can format it, I don't know why you do that, you can erase and factory reset. Drobo settings, mine's name is just Drobo. You can dim the lights. Automatically check for updates. Drobo dashboard, email alerts, on screen alerts. No, I don't have that. Enable system I don't have that. And then language. By default, Drobo dashboard automatically discovers all Drobos in the local subnet. If you want to access a Drobo in a different subnet, disable automatic discovery. Use Drobo discovery settings. So depending on how you want to access the drive. So for example, here I'm just in my file explorer and I can easily, you know, just use it, drag and drop to other hard drives. You can see it my Drobo E. You can right click it in Windows Explorer or if you have a Mac in your main area. So you can just drag and drop with it. It just acts like an external hard drive even though you can have up to five hard drives in here. Also note that if I had a laptop or desktop that's hooked up to this, I can make the laptop or desktop discoverable, have the hard drive there so I can add this onto a network that way. Although there's better solutions if you do want to use this as a network uh, storage device and we'll go into that next. So here's the Drobo 5D3, the same unit I reviewed in this video. You can see a little bit better photos here. And uh, 
I didn't show you that. If you can put an SSD on the bottom here, especially if you're doing some video editing, you can leave your primary files on the faster drive here and maybe some of the secondary files on the hard drives within. We saw all of that. Um, now they do, now remember this is a DOS, so this is not a, it's directly attached storage. It's not on the network. Um, if you do want to go on the network, I've heard great things about Synology. This would definitely be something that I get, but the primary reason for my Drobo is to back up, you know, family photos, videos, especially as I start, you know, shooting in higher resolutions and higher frame rates, it really does start to fill up my storage much more quickly. So that's why I did what I did. But knowing now I might actually go with a NOS. Um, as far as other uh, DOSes though, you can get something like this, which would be a great uh, variation as well. You could put it into RAID so you can store your, your files very easily. Um, and there's a ton of other bays as well. Um, if you're new to it though, and you just want it to do its own thing, this was a nice workaround for me. That being said, within the last year, Drobo's gotten a lot of slack. And if you read a lot of these reviews, it's very mixed. But I have to say I'm one of these users that in spite of all the bad reviews, I mean, it does what it says it's going to do. And like I said, I've had it for over a year and had no issues with lost data or anything like that. And it's a great way for me to store my information and it feels safe to me. It's 10 gigabytes worth of files. And as you see, getting really good speeds through USB type C. Like that's fast, it's faster than all my 3.0 hard drive, external hard drives that I add on to this thing. Not significantly, but good. Anyways, here's a file that I uh, grabbed off of my Drobo. And as you can see, if I want to store my files, I can easily still, let's go ahead and mute this, but it plays back in real time. So I can edit it just like it was on my computer itself but I have it on my DOS. You know, when I first bought this, Drobo actually had a really good reputation. I now wouldn't necessarily, you know, I would definitely go with like a G technology or something else now that I've read what I've read. And when you think about it, 28 terabytes here, I paid six, about 650 for the drives and then about 600 for this. So it's, they're right, they're identical pricing here. Um, and this definitely has way better reviews, but this one is not expandable as much. It all depends on what you're doing with it. Now with me, I continue to make YouTube videos. I back up all that video. I have all sorts of things that I want to keep and save, and this is one of the more secure ways of doing it. So um, I definitely look into some sort of network solution though, especially considering you know when uh, better network technology comes out, I feel like you're going to be able to get some really great speeds um, you know, if you're wired correctly for it. So that's what I think. Let me know y'all think this is, this is something that was fairly new to me when I was shopping for it. And, um, I know you can set up like a raspberry Pi. You could do all sorts of things to set up a solution like this. So let me know what you think is the best solution or, or the way to go. But for now I'm stuck with this one. Don't forget to like subscribe and we'll check you on the next one.